priests of the order of preachers, the layman Lorenzo Ruiz. and their, their team companions be given in future the title of blessed and that their feast be celebrated annually on the day of their heavenly birth in the places and in the manner established by law.
Sa senyal na ito maniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Bang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto handa kami Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlukod Lalaganap at lab ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya sa aming puso aming sarili ay aming handog laging tapat at laging tukon naririto handa kami Panginoon ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo katarungan kabanalan kapayapaan sa senyal na ito maniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Bang daang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Bang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto Handa kami, Panginoon!
Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda Misyon kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami ahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlukod Lalaganap at lab ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon Kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo Katarungan, kapanalan, kapayapaan Senyal na ito maniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Ibang daang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Ibang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto Handa kami, Panginoon! Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda Misyon kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami ahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlukod Lalaganap at lab ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon Kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo Katarungan, kapanalan, kapayapaan sa senyal na ito maniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Ibang daang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Ibang daang 
sa ong biyaya. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya. Misyong kaloob sa aming puso. Aming sarili ay aming handog, laging tapat at laging tugon, nariritohan na kami. Panginoon, naririto, handa kami. Panginoon! Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong punya. Misyong kaloob sa aming puso. Aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon. Naririto, handa kami, Panginoon. Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako. Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod. Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlugod, lalaganap at lab ng iyong misyon. Limang daang taong biyaya, salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya. Sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tukon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon. Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo, katarungan, kabanalan, kapayapaan. Sa senyal na ito maniwala ang mundo, pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao. Ibang daang taong biyaya, salamat, salamat. Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong punya. Misyong kaloob sa aming puso. Aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon. Naririto, handa kami. Panginoon, naririto, handa kami. Panginoon! Salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong punya. Misyong kaloob sa aming puso. Aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon. Naririto, handa kami, Panginoon. Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako. Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod. Inang Maria ang 
Ang gabay na mitlukod Lalagan at alam ng iyong misyon Limang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong pula Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Ang mga kaloob na aming alay sa mundo Katarungan, kapanalan, kapayapaan Sa senyal na ito maniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Ibang daang taong biyaya Salamat, salamat Panginoon Ibang daang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Nariritohan na kami Panginoon Naririto Handa kami Panginoon and sisters in Christ. Good noon, Father Andy. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for His full of gentleness and compassion. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that great sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, to whom belongs all creation, and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, inspire us by the power of Saint Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Mga tito santita. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Persia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to spoke built to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is a great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. For king of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The prince of the people are gathered together and the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back. 
to the Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. As we continue to reflect on the Lord's resurrection, as we are still in the season of Easter, the first reading reminds us that like Apollos, may we also be collaborators and co-workers in spreading the good news. Because the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles is part of the third missionary journey of Paul. Di ba St. Paul, naglakbay kung saan-saan. Kaya merong first missionary journey, merong second missionary journey, and this time, third missionary journey. At sa kanyang pag-iikot, may mga na-inspire siya. And one of those is Apollos. A Jew of eloquence, yung mahusay magsalita, articulate with clarity. No. And Apollos became a work co-worker, collaborator of Paul. No. And we are reminded that we have the same role. We are not simply listeners. We are not simply receivers. It is also our duty to share, to give what we have received. Sabi ko nga lagi, in our own little way, spread the good news through acts of kindness in praying for others. Yung maliliit na bagay na kaya natin gawin. Sa ganung pamaraan, nagiging kabahagi tayo ng pagiging misyonero. And we pray for that grace ang pagiging mabuting asawa, ina, anak, kapatid. Yan. And we, as, we, as I've said, we pray for that grace. And it's only, not only about the missionary of journey of Paul. It should inspire us and remind us that we are co-workers in the mission of Jesus. Second, in the Gospel, in the Gospel of John, Jesus assures us when he said, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Ask and you will receive. Parang it's too good to be true. Because we have a lot of unanswered prayers. Although may mga pangkataon, yung ating dasal ay parang dinidinig ng Diyos. But meron tayo mga dasal din na kumisan parang ang tagal dumating. And we keep on, we keep on praying. You know, is Jesus giving us a false hope? No. This is the assurance of Jesus. And just to remind ourselves of the story of Saint Monica. She prayed for the conversion of her husband, Patricius, and her son, Augustine. How long did it take her? It took her almost 30 years. It was only after almost 30 years that she witnessed the conversion and baptism of her husband, Patricius, and her son, Augustine. She asked, she received. But she was patient. It took her almost 30 years. This is not a false hope. We have to be patient in God's time. If it is for us, it will come. Kaya I remember the story of Saint Monica. And it came, though it took her years, but it came. And we also pray for that patience to continue in believing in God's promises. And third, today we also celebrate the feast of Saint Isidro. Mas kilala siya tawag na San Isidro Labrador. Saint Isidore, the farmer. Uh, namasukan lang siya bilang magsasaka. At uh, every day before he starts his day, he would pass by a chapel to pray. 
Kaya in a sense, he was a bit late to work. Kaya kinaingitan ng kanyang kasama, sinumbong sa amo. Itong si Isidro laging late. Binantayan ng amo and yung amo na gulat. Nakita niya sa Isidro, dumadaan ng kapilya para magdasal. And true enough, Isidro was always late. But the owner was more surprised when he saw angels helping St. Isidore. Nagsasaka siya mag-isa, kahit siya late, mas marami siya nagagawa because he was being helped by angels sa kanyang pagsasaka. Ano? Ay marami pang stories about St. Isidro. Stories of generosity, stories of kindness sa kanyang simpleng buhay as a simple farmer. He was still so generous. He was so kind. And he was blessed in return by God. And we cannot outdo God in generosity. Please rise for the prayers of the faithful. Jesus invites us to make a repetition to the Father through Him and guarantees us joy in answer to our prayers. For a repetition, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church, through their preaching and guidance, may lead us to the glory of our heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be given the grace to serve with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find life stressful and burdensome may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may find comfort and encouragement from their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be brought to the joy and glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us include in our prayers the thanksgiving and petitions offered in this Mass. For those celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries, may God bless them. And for those who are sick, that God may heal them. And for the repose of all the souls, especially the soul of Pancho Merendilia. In the silence of our hearts, let us offer to God all of our prayers and petitions. Father, you always hear us and you grant all we ask for through the merits of your Son, May your spirit abide in us to teach us what we should ask God for and to pour forth your gifts in our midst. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Rise. 
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Isidore, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to shoot in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call it therefore the scripture you pray, descending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please rise. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, our bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, Saint Isidore, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, he may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together let us sing the Lord's Prayer.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, he may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive you. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. 
We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Roque. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Colonsol. Pray for us. Please rise. Let us pray. May the sacrament you have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Isidore, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating banal na misa at sa patuloy na nakikiisa sa ating live streaming. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. And uh, asking pakilala ang ating seminarian, he just finished his theology and preparing for diaconal ordination in the coming months. He's been assigned here for at least three months, three months, as part of his experience. Uh, si Norman Gandia, welcome sa Binong the Church. Please pray for him as he is prepared, preparing for his diaconal ordination. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mabuting hapon po sa inyong lahat. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda Misyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami ahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlukod Lalaganap at lamang